for a while. Another levee has been breached, leaving a town in trouble. Contessa Brewer is standing by with more on that story. Contessa. Tamron, 700 National Guardsmen, more than a million sandbags, and ultimately, they couldn't prevent this. Those are the warning sirens, warning of a levee breach in Illinois. Gulfport is the town, and the government says 26 other levees are in danger. For the latest on the situation, let's talk to Kerry Sanders. He's right across the river from the town where that levee broke in Burlington, Iowa. Uh, Kerry, I know that on the other side now, you've got more than 7,000 acres in danger. What kind of land are you talking about here? Well, it's a little different than what you see behind me. You can see this is downtown here in Burlington, Iowa. Let's zip you right across the river here and take you over to Gulfport where the levee gave way. There are some camps, some small homes, some buildings over in the area in Gulfport where the levee gave way, but it's a smaller community, less populated, more farmland and more just uh, uh, rural area. So the water that did flood that area while it's doing damage is not damaging as many structures because there's just not as many there. Uh, you can see in the picture here the bridge. The bridge is closed. That's the uh, uh, US 34 bridge that crosses from Iowa to Illinois and back. Because the water was able to breach the levee and then flood the area, part of the road on US 34 is closed. Uh, the authorities say that they think Everybody who was in danger is now out of danger. There were some people who were actually working on the levee at a pumping station when it gave way. They were able to rescue them. They had a helicopter come in. They also had some people on the water. Uh, the Coast Guard has since been out here in their small boats. They've gone up and down to see if they could find anybody who was in danger. They did not. Apparently, there was some livestock that was in the water, treading water. Uh, they tried to get back in to rescue a pig that was in the water, but then it got back too far into the branches. They were unable to get it out of there, but they believe that the pig is smart enough to uh, you know, find higher ground and can swim. Meantime, the uh, efforts here are failed. Uh, they tried to put the uh, sandbags in. They put up more than 5 million sandbags up and down the areas, but at least here in Burlington, it didn't work. You can see the water yeah. breached through and is now on both sides. It's such a shame, too, because it is backbreaking work to put all those sandbags there and to see that they didn't do the job that they were intended for. Really uh, disappointing there. Carrie, I know you're staying on top of this. Thank you.